All right, from the beginning, life is strange. Um, one was such a good game. I don't know if you played it, but it was kind of girly, so you might not have played it. But if you're a girl, then you probably should be playing it because it's a really great game. But even though I'm a guy, I still like Life is Strange. I let my girl play it. I bought it for her. Um, she she really enjoyed the game. I actually enjoyed the game. It's a really good story. And then I played the second part, which had uh, featured her best friend, um, Chloe. And the first one was about a girl named Max. But this one isn't about any of that. Life is Strange 2 is about these two boys. And one has these powers and the other one is the bigger brother who's trying to protect the little brother because of the beginning story. So um, we're not going to get all off into what happened because I know you guys probably want to watch the game and I don't want to give away any spoilers. So for the most part, um, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the game. I'm just here to tell you I'm going to put some more gameplay up for Life is Strange as well because it's a really good game um, and whatnot. But I just want you to see the beginning and you can kind of see me play through the beginning. You can kind of see what's going on in the story and kind of get a glimpse of where the game is headed but i'm going to put another um gameplay video up as soon as i get a chance so you guys can see what happens after this this part and then um, we'll go from there so make sure you hit the like button subscribe button i just want you to know this is a really really good game series they sell it in episodes uh square enix made it so these are from the makers of final fantasy series games and stuff like that um and you know, mostly RPGs. So this is a role-playing choice-based game. So you play as these characters and you have to make choices for them and you have to decide what you're gonna do. And if you choose whatever you choose, it determines the fate of the game. So if you choose whatever you choose, the rest of the game is gonna be different than if you chose something else. So it's a choice-based game. I, I just started liking these choice-based games. I never really played them before. Um, but ever since I played this one, I've been hooked on choice based games like um, also that Detroit Becomes human game is also a choice based game and the rain the rain game that one's also one So I'm gonna play those but I'm gonna let you guys check out the story I don't want to you know spoil the game. All right guys, so hit the like button Let me know in the comments if you like games like this I'll play some more for you uh, as soon as I as soon as I can all right peace Three, copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that 10. Oh, shit. Now, Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. Didn't do anything. It's gonna be all right. On the ground. Okay, update time. 
You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? <sighs> I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there? What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's Dad. He wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a ten-year-old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen. Saying she can't wait to see us at the party! What? Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So... So what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Man. We need to find a couch for your yard one day. Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you wanna hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. <sighs> Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then... I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. Speaking of weed, mm, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa, what the hell are don't you doing? Don't move. You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. <sighs> this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk.
Is this how you see a penis? Damn, you should try and actually see one for real. You don't want to go down that road, dude. My chances of scoring tonight are probably ten times yours. <laughs> you wish. Oh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. <laughs> hey! Perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh. Sure, but I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey, no shh, fair. Shh, shh. Court is in session. Judge Diaz. Presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletale. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up, or chill, or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week, or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me! Come on, Judge! Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. Hmm. Huh. You're both guilty of wasting my time. Case closed. What? No fair. Dad, Dad, Dad. What is this? Mm. My own flesh and blood tosses me under the bus. He sucks. Okay, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. Yeah. I have to work in my room, too. Yeah? Don't hurry back. <sighs> okay. Let's get this party list started.
Better pack for the party. This will work. I don't want to get wasted in front of Jen. Cross that off the list. Drinks down, food to go. I hope there's also, like, real food at this party. Lila's so hyped up for tonight. Better hurry. Real funny, Dad. I'll pay this back before next week's pizza night. Promise. Time to get in the mood for tonight. Where do you put the blankets? I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night.
That you, Choco Thief? Hmm. Am I hearing things? Somebody trying to scare me? Not Halloween yet, man. Hey. Since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure. Can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, shoot. Must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Hey, I got it. I think. Nah. I need one with a black switch on it, so I can change its direction. Here you go. Hmm. Wrong size. I need a 16 millimeter. Hey, did you get your English midterm back? Uh, yeah. I got a B. A B? But you were so... Mm. Okay. What about this? Nearly. But this is a midget one. I need his big brother. Okay, hey, forget it. I'll do it with this one right here. It'll probably work. Oh, shit. All right, never mind enough of this. I'm done. Hey, quick tip, my son. Go Google wrenches and see what you can learn. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while too. And... You happy with it? I mean, your job, living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Well, you don't have to. I mean, it's cool. Are you sure you're my son? You don't want to visit Mexico. You don't want to have a car. I can't even get you into Rush or Santana. Are you going to ride the bus for all your dates? Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock blocking is. He looks up to you, Sean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way. Ha! I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean, 
Yeah, probably. But we'll be parting at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home. Would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Oh my god. Not when you call yourself like that. Uh, I get it. Too lame to hug the old man. Been there. All right then. Get out of here, Mr. Cool. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. I bet Dad had a pretty wild teenagehood. Even though he won't tell. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. Oh. 